here at the Big Iron Classic Truck Show. We have Mr. Adam Johnson here that's going to talk a little bit about uh, his company and what he does and give us a tour of this truck. How's it going guys? So this is a 94 W900L that uh, had a D Detroit D-Deck 2 in it. Um, we took that out, we did a signature 600 in it. It's been kind of tuned and worked and we've done our little touches to it. Uh, we did an A model inspired hood off like Jones hood, cut up the sides and basically kind of wanted to give it a retro look like it was kind of an old school A model but it's an L. It's got all the modern comfort, right. it's a little bit bigger cab. We did a remake of a Mercury sleeper back in the day and we just painted it. So it's got all the metal work, it'd be the ones that you see were polished and we just painted them. It's a 310 wheelbase, 13 speed, 336 rears. So was, the truck was built two years ago in eight and a half weeks by our shop. Uh, at any given time, it was usually we had one guy full time, start to finish, and then like my wife and I would work on the weekends on yeah. a list to get done. But mainly that's one full time guy, and then us helping out in between. We've been working it, so not perfect, but. What's the inspiration behind the the red and white? What made you choose the color scheme? And so my grandfather started the company in 1946, and his first truck was red. And it was a bright red truck and he got signed on with like Vabergé, Brut deodorant, Aquanet hairspray back in the day and like it was at every four years they had to paint their trucks to match the company. So he never owned another red truck his entire life. So my dad took over the company in 1980 and they renamed it K&D for Karen and Dwight, my parents. Mm -hmm. Everything went pretty much silver and blue. So when I got back into it, I said we're going to do everything with a red frame to pay tribute. So this whole truck was built red with the white in the chrome that my grandpa you know it's all for him so i might build ones that are cooler and might be worth more money that's fine but this one's mine so it's it's like the johnny cash we always have that joke here i i say when we build some of these trucks that are my personal ones it's like i said johnny cash ain't got nothing on me because i said i use all the brands and i build them yeah <laughs> you know so jhc johnson hill customs was a byproduct of the trucking so um, my dad's an old school hot rodder. So I grew up with him with, he had hot rods in the corners, he did paint work, he's raced snowmobiles. So I grew up racing snowmobiles and dirt bikes and kind of wrenching and always doing. So we've always done like work mm -hmm. on other people's stuff. But my dad always told me is like, no one's ever gonna pay you full time to build stuff like that, you know, well, here we are, <laughs> you yeah. know, we're building them. So it just, it, it's grown into uh, a, a separate business in a sense. So starting up front here, like I said, this is a Jones hood. So if you look in the inside, this is all, this is all rough cut fiberglass. Uh, coming into the motor, Eric was the lead guy on this and he's 22 years deep in the being a mechanic, certified Cummins mechanic, come out of a dealership. He completely rewired this whole engine. So he took the whole wiring harness, laid it out on two bays, and completely repinned it, moved sensors, cleaned everything up. It's a it's a it's an actual true signature 600 Cummins. That it's got a PDI tune. It's got a Borg Warner turbo, uh, billet wheel, PDI manifold. All the stainless piping was made. Uh, we couldn't at the time. This was you know built during COVID. You couldn't get a lot of stuff. So this is like basically your stainless piping out of like a, a milking parlor you know that has been cut and welded um if you look it's it's dirty but even the top of the transmission's got stainless hardware there's that one's uh wow. six point but this whole motor is all 12 point arp studded bolts pretty much is everything i possibly could get there's about seven thousand dollars in arp studs and bolts on this motor and throughout here yeah. uh right into the firewall cover this is one of our one-off firewall covers mm -hmm. which we will be producing um and start offering that to the the consumers um these are literally uh, repurposed like 1976 cab over air cleaners. This is a funny story I ever tell when I said, hey, you know what this, this stainless line's from? They said, no, no, said, that's your water supply for your toilet out of Menards. <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> so there's a lot of, I feel, true hot rodder-ish in this truck that what brings you into having cool stuff is like, when you do you can't get it you can't you know make it in time and you're in a time crunch you use what you can with what you got so you know people want to pick on me for using something that maybe not be proper for it it is it works and it looks cool and yeah. that's kind of the true version i wanted this whole vibe to feel like a resto mod hot rod yeah where it's it's old but it's all new underneath 
this one's got, I don't know, 120, 130,000 miles on it since it's been built and mm -hmm. it's worked. We haul steel. So yeah. I've got steel dust on me and I jump in a white interior truck. So yeah, it's, it's a pain in the butt to keep clean. Um, a lot of people don't understand it. it. It goes back to, if you like cool trucks, you like anything cool as far as, it doesn't matter if it's hot rods, cars, bikes, whatever. I mean, you, I am inspired by anything cool. Someone that, I don't know, they, they might have a scratch or dent in every inch of their car and it doesn't mm -hmm. bother them because it's just used for transportation. Well, right. there's people out here that use semis the same way. To me, it's not that way. People, well, I hate to say that term, but people are like, oh, it's, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. To me, I don't think, to me, it's not a lifestyle just in trucking. It's a lifestyle in general of what you like. Fun. Yeah, I mean, we're on all social medias. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. It's all Johnson Hill Customs. Um, you can call our shop. It's 715-977-8106. Neil's the kind of the lead guy to talk to there. Uh, we got a pretty good process. Basically, we'll talk to guys, and then we the first step is we want emails. Send us emails, pictures of your truck, kind of a long list, and do your dream list. Like, we start dream big. Do everything and anything you want. I don't care if you can't afford it. Dream everything you want. And I said, we'll work in stages. There's a lot of guys that we build a truck over five years for them, and we'll do a month here, a month there, and we'll kind of figure it out in stages so we're not doubling up on the labor, and we get them there. I said, that's how I did it for years. I said, you know, up until we built this truck, every one of my trucks was built on the weekends. You know, I ran them Monday through Friday, and then we wrenched on them on, you know, Saturday. And if you had time, then you started doing cool stuff, and you just had to make sure it was back together by Monday to go to work. I mean, that's that's how we started. So it's kind of neat to uh, to be able to build it start to finish. But then it also, you get busy, and you don't have time for your own stuff either. <laughs> so that's the other problem.